Well, welcome back, guys. This has been a great couple of weeks uh, down here in Miami, and I have with me a special guest, my good friend Juan Gomez. And uh, I want to thank Juan for all the hospitality he has shown uh, myself and my guests here, my clients that we brought down uh, from January, February, and also the last part of March and April. So Juan, you're the owner of Prestige Golf. I've known Juan uh, quite a few years, and he's world-renowned as far as a club fitter. Uh, Juan, one of the big questions um, I get back home, and I'm definitely going to throw it your way, is, you know, people ask about club fitting, is it really worth it, do I really need it? What, what's the value, what is the importance of club fitting, especially these days? Yeah, Scotty, first of all, thank you for having me, and always this is your home, so it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Um, club fitting, we do club fitting a little bit different. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of people out there that just, just want to go and hit some balls and test the new stuff out there and you know, see which one goes further. And that's done. That's, that's what they need. Um, we, we, I think we, we, our approach is completely different. And what I tell people about club fitting is they kind of go into the doctor sometimes. You know, you go get your checkup or whatever, and you want to hear you're good, you're healthy, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, sometimes there's a couple of things that they need to adjust, and, and they do it. And that's what we do. We, we want to we make people more efficient. So in, in terms of club fitting, I think they go hand in hand with the golf swing, the teaching part. If there's something bad on the swing, um, we can even adjust the swing or we can adjust the club for them, depending on the player. There's a lot of people that they don't practice. They just go out there and have fun. <coughs> and maybe we adjust a club for that particular swing. If the guy takes lessons, uh, want to get better, want to improve on their golf technique as well, then we can build him a club to take him to where he wants to be. You know, not for just today when we're doing the club fitting, but in six months or a year. It happens a lot with juniors or even just a regular amateur that want to take lessons and want to improve and want to get better. So for us, the main goal is how can we make our students more efficient on the golf course. Got it, got it. Great, great words, great wisdom. Uh, and I know down here, I mean, the first tee program is, is huge. You have yeah. a great junior base. I was firsthand to witness it and see it for the weeks I've been down here. And uh, for those of you, again, Juan uh, works with a lot of um, players on all tours, both, uh, you know, men's and women's tours. So, you know, you really there have to get into some really precise yeah. uh, elements in the club fitting, maybe as opposed to maybe sometimes the amateur, you know, you can, you don't have to be maybe, I don't want to say as precise, but you don't have to yeah. go. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. A lot of the amateurs, they think that they are so bad and they're so inconsistent. I call them they're consistently wrong. Sometimes they have a flaw, but they're very consistent with it. So that's okay. You know, they're, they're not on the tour, they're amateurs, and because of that, they have some flaws. But they always do the same flaws, so there's a pattern, and, and if, if that's okay and they're consistent with it, you can adjust the club to make them efficient. Tour players, you'd be surprised because sometimes the tour players, they're changing things here and there, and when they make a change, it's actually for them, it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. For the amateur, it cannot be that big. So if you nail it on the right shaft or the right um, measurements, let's say, for that particular flaw, they can be more consistent, not having that perfect swing. And they just need to adjust all the little things like aiming, like the ABCs. But for their, for their uh, swing, they, they, they're, they're, they're consistent. That's why I say consistently wrong on a good way. I like that. I like that. Point well taken, too. So let me just end this way, because we're going we're gonna to bring back a one for another episode. We're going to do more than one for sure. But let me just end this way that um, if you're coming down to South Miami, anywhere in the Florida area, please check out Juan down here at Prestige Golf. It's, it's just unbelievable what he's doing down in here, and it will definitely be a drive worth it. Uh, there's so many things that you can do to help your game. Juan's the guy to do it. And um, So listen, we thank you guys for tuning in. As always, Drill Freak Nation. We love you guys. We love making sure that you guys are watching, catching us on Facebook, catching us on the website, and a lot of the social media out there. So we will be back with another, another episode with Juan Gomez. Stay tuned. Thank you.